Hey, welcome back. Today, I want to respond to a question that was asked on one of my recent videos where I created a 3D model from an image. The question was about how to take the flat 3D model and wrap it around a cylinder or a sphere. So in this video, I'll show you how to do that. Now I'm just going to quickly recreate the model that I made in the previous video. If you want to know how I created the SVG file and converted it to a 3D model, I'll leave a link to the other video in the description so you can check it out. So now I have a model, but if I switch to edit mode, you can see that I have all this ugly stretched topology. So I'll need to fix this before I can wrap it around the cylinder. And to do that, I'm going to switch back to object mode and I'll add a remesh modifier. And I'll set the mode to sharp. I'll disable the remove disconnected option and I'll set the octree depth to nine, which I think is good for this model because if I set it to eight, I can see a few areas that have some issues. And if I set it to 10, it's not really doing much for me except adding more resolution, which you can see if I switch to wireframe display, the mesh is really dense. So I think nine is a good number for this model. So now I'll go ahead and apply the modifier. And the model is looking good, but it is pretty high poly. So to reduce the poly count, I'm going to apply another remesh modifier. And again, I'll set the mode to sharp. I'll disable remove disconnected. And this time I'll set the octree depth to eight. And you can see that the mesh is not quite as dense as it was before. So I'll go ahead and apply the modifier. And now if I switch to wireframe, you can see that I have a mesh that's a little more lightweight. So now I'm going to switch to edit mode because I want to get rid of all these polygons around the sides that I don't need. So I'll switch to face selection, select a single face on the front of the model. Then I'll hit shift G and choose coplanar to select all the faces on the front. Then I'll hit P and choose separate by selection. Now I'll switch to object mode. I'll select the back part of the model and hit delete. And now I'll switch back to edit mode. I'll select all the polygons again. This time I'll hit E for extrude and extrude these edges back. But now my model is completely red, which means it's flipped inside out. So I need to hit A to select everything and then right click go to Mesh Tools, and flip Normals. And now everything is good. Next, I need a cylinder to wrap this model around. So I'll switch to Object Mode, and move this model away from the origin. And I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Then Control A and apply rotation. And now I'll hit Shift A and add a cylinder. I'll set the vertices to 64 and the radius to 0.5. Then I'll right click and shade smooth by angle. And now I'm going to move the model a little closer to the cylinder. And then Shift S and choose cursor to selected. Next, I'll hit the number one key on the number pad to switch to front view. And with the model selected, hit Shift A and add a lattice. And I'll scale the radius down until the lattice fits around the entire model. And I'll leave it just a little bit bigger all the way around. Now I'll go to the object data properties and I'll set the U resolution to 20. The V resolution, I'll set that to 1, and I'll set the W resolution to 20. 
and now I'll hit 7 on the number pad to switch to top view and I'll move the lattice to the back edge of the model. Not all the way though, you want the lattice to overlap just a little bit. And now I need to parent the model to the lattice, so I'll select the model and then shift select the lattice, then hit control P and choose lattice deform, or you can go to the object menu, parent, and you can choose lattice deform from here. And now I just need to select the lattice, go to the modifier section, and add a shrink wrap modifier. Then I'll click the target eyedropper and select the cylinder. And now you can see the model is projected onto the cylinder, but it's looking a little distorted. So you'll want to set the wrap method to project and then choose the Y axis. And there you go. The model is now wrapping around the cylinder. So now you can select the model, right click and shade smooth by angle. And you can also push the model back a little so it's not sticking out so much. And I'll go to the material properties and create a new material and change the color a little bit. And I'll set the metallic up to 1 and the roughness to around 0.2. And then I'll switch to render display so you can see it a little better. And if you're happy with this, you can select the lattice and apply the modifier. Then select the model and apply the modifier. And then you can delete the lattice. And that's about it. Uh, there's a little bit of preliminary work to fix the ugly topology. But after that's done, it's pretty simple to project the model onto the curved surface. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post them below. And as always, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.